getting people to buy from you is one thing and getting them to stay and keep coming back to you is another thing but here in this video i'll be talking about few things to help you get new customers and also how to keep them layman terms like i will always say hi guys my name is tyre welcome to my channel if this is your first time thank you for clicking to watch i love to make videos around business my journey as a small business owner um, entrepreneurship my faith with god and the good stuff so if you love stuff like that kindly please subscribe to my channel a small business owner and then you you just started um, you keep getting people telling you I'll come back to you um, What do you sell? How do you use this item and you're worried you're thinking when will you make that first sale? to be honest Being a small business owner is not it's not bread and beans <laughs> It is not easy. It is not um, it's not a stroll in the park It is something that takes dedication effort hard work and all of that stuff, right? But before you land your first customer, like there's something, there's some things you need to put in place. And after you land this customer, you also need to put other things in place to retain them. So the first thing is to learn how to communicate effectively. Simple way of communicating. Now, let's say for example, your business is on Instagram. Why am I holding this pen? <laughs> let's say your business is on Instagram, yeah? communicate what that business is about so let's say you're selling jewelry now you've posted this lovely picture and video of this jewelry you also yeah you posted the picture of this lovely jewelry you can go further to posting maybe uh, a model shot so people see how um, it looks on the model it might be a necklace you can also do that a model shot will also do so people will not come and ask you how big is this item or how small is this item recently i wanted to buy this is it blue lens glasses because um i was having constant headache and the old one i had had already scratched a lot so i wanted to buy this blue glasses and i saw this very pretty one and i asked the lady or the guy i don't know who was behind the account i asked the person oh i want to buy these glasses i was ready to make payments and the communication was just off and the person just said oh they are small in that they're small i was like I don't understand what do you mean by they are small okay do you have small medium or large he said no but the glasses are small i said do you mean the is it, the person just said no but it is small i said do you mean the glasses or the frame itself and the person just said it is small so i just couldn't understand what they meant by it is small i just got turned off i had to go to their page to see if there was someone already wearing the item but nothing like that so i got really turned off and i just had to like oh let me just forget about this person and i went somewhere else that was clear with what they do and i bought from that person so if you're a small business owner learn to communicate what you sell learn to leave an action a call to action in your caption or in your videos just communicate clearly to pricing i do not know why in this time and age people refuse to put their price or price range um in the caption they just keep hiding it and then you see people go and ask them oh how much put your price if you're a service-based business just let us know your price range it will make me know I like i'll be informed on the kind of decision i want to make i would know if my budget is within this thing you're selling is within this price you have called it or not if you communicate clearly you will see people coming to you that are ready to make the purchase communicate what that service is about communicate what that product is about and it will be easier for people to just come and make purchase rather than asking questions they might end up asking questions and then maybe you're, you're selling what they don't even need they will just say there's no need in buying the item. So learn to communicate clearly as a small business owner. Let's be clear with your terms. So in one of my, so for one of my business, it is called Ladies and Silk, where I sell everything silk for ladies. My terms are communicated clearly on there. I do not do everyday delivery for that particular business. I let you know it is on there on the page. So if you're good with it, come on here buy from me but if not it is there on the page it is pinned on the page so people do not come back and forth with me asking me delivery time i know there are some few people that might still come and come ask you right but be clear with your terms if you're going to for example you offer pay on delivery be clear with it if you offer pay um 
payment before delivery be clear with it if the item is not readily available don't let someone pay for the item first before you now tell them um you'll get it so so time there was this time i bought this um this tank tops from a lady i love her page i have bought from her before and then i think she told me she makes delivery on wednesdays and fridays clear and simple and i think i bought on a saturday so i had to wait for the next wednesday so imagine she she did not um tell me what her terms were or they were not on her page i would just be feeling a little bit skeptical that why is my item why has my item not gotten to me i might feel a little bit frustrated but be clear with your terms because honestly as a small business owner there are so many huddles there are so many um there's so many things surrounding why you might not be able to be as efficient as a big business um, owner a small business owner you're maybe your logistics person you're your content creator you're the customer service person you're all of these things so be clear with your terms um to your intended customers it makes them trust you more and even want to like okay she's clear if i if i want this thing i will go for it or i will not be clear with your terms another way people will come to you to buy from you is your packaging there's this thing i say jokingly to my elder sister i tell her i say in Accra, it's just me and you that care about packaging i got an item what um for Father's Day, I got an item worth over thousand cities. You don't want to see what the what what I what package this item came in. It was horrible, horrible. Like the whole thing was already out. Uh, it was not well packaged. And I looked at this person. I said, even someone that will buy item one hundred and fifty cities from me, I tried to make their experience memorable. I asked people, are you sending it out as a gift? Do you want an extra note in it? Do you? I'll, I'll post a video somewhere so you see how I package my item. Do you want an extra note in it? This package comes with maybe this. I this package comes with um an additional fifteen cities or ten cities. Do you want a handwritten note? Packaging is, is uh, I don't know. Packaging is just what will save your business. Trust me. Let people see how you package your item. Let people see all of this process. They will come to you because sometimes they might be buying a gift item from you to someone else. They want to be sure that this item will get to whoever they're buying it for in good conditions. So communicate what your package looks like clearly new customers will come to you we're in the era where people want to associate themselves with something aesthetically pleasing something beautiful something in vogue something chic fashion and all of that so you don't necessarily need to spend a whole lot when it comes to packaging and if you do your pricing very well i have a video where i i i explain simple basic pricing technique so if you do your pricing very well all of these things will be in your cost price and then you will still sell well so your packaging has to be attractive and clean it's you engaging with your customers talk with them engage with them don't talk at them now what do i mean by this or practical ways you can do this is let's say for example you can have a facebook group where people can um, go join aside you selling products also always telling them to come and buy come and buy you can once in a while like um, engage them with maybe a social issue that is happening right now or maybe share your your testimony with them or just share something that they will resonate with right so communicate with them engage them okay there's this thing i do on my whatsapp every now and then i try to like maybe ask question or post a meme or something to make my customers that are already on my whatsapp engage with me and they feel like they have this personal relationship with me whereas they might not even know my surname right but they just feel like there's this bond and then this trust it makes people loyal to your brand because they feel like you're carrying them along in your journey or they'll be like oh i've known this person for a long while i knew when she was a single lady now she's married oh i've known her but if you go deep into it they might not even know you at all but you're just showing them a part of you that they can resonate with and they, they want to mingle with so show them your journey engage with them this way your existing customer will feel like they're loyal to you and they don't want to go anywhere else and then they keep buying from you and also new customers to will um see the the new customers to will trust you enough to want to spend their money in your business have a customer retention plan 
What plan do you have in place for your OGs, man? What plan do you have in place? Okay, what do I mean by this, by customer retention plan? You see big brands doing this thing. They have like loyalty cards, they have um, bonuses, they have subscription plan, all of this thing. As a small business owner, replicate it. You might not do it in a large scale, but in the scale that you are in right now, you can have a customer retention plan. You might decide to say, okay, um, on your third order, you'll get a free delivery if you buy this amount or um, on your second order, you do, 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 da, da, da. Or you even tell them you have a discount code for people that have bought up to 10 times from you or five times from you. See, some people even say, if you buy up to this amount, you will get a free gift towards this amount. So have something in place to retain your customer, like entice them. Uh, maybe I'll make a video more about customer retention plan. If you like to see that video, let me know in the comment section because it's a whole lot, right? But it's something I think will benefit a small business owner because sometimes we see these big businesses doing these things and we think it is so far fetched from us as a small business owner, but we are small, but we are also aspiring to grow and it's important to also do these things that will keep our customers coming back or even do these things that will help us get our first customers and in turn, let them stay for us, let them stay with us forever. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. My name is Tara, just in case I forgot to mention in the beginning, I love to mention my name a lot. Recently, someone left a comment saying, I love the way you mention your name. I really do love to mention my name. My name is Tara and thank you for coming to watch this video and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye guys.